Hey, today I'm going to show you how to change a background using Scratch. Okay, there's a couple ways to do this. Right, first, if you want to change it when you when it starts off, you can do a white click. Um, you can change, go to the next background, or switch to background. For this demonstration, I'm going to <laughs> switch background. So when it clicks, it's going to change it to this football field. Okay, see so when I click start, it changes. Okay. And there's also another way you can do this. If you want to press a key and have it change, you can do like press up arrow. Sounds good. And then you can go to switch background. This time I'm going to change it to this basketball court. See when I press up, it changes. Okay. And you can go to next, also go to next background. So when I press the up arrow key, it'll go change. Press it again, just keep changing. Just keep changing every time you go to next background from that arrow key. And there's, see, you can also like wait a couple seconds for it to change. Like you press the up arrow key, you can make it wait about three seconds, let's say. Then one, two, three. And it should have changed. No, oh, now try it. One, two, three. And it changed. See? For three seconds, it changes. And you can also do it in the back or broadcast. Like when you do, let's see here. You go to broadcast, new. You just go to three, whatever. Or no, it's one. And then when you go on I receive. One, you go to switch background, or you can also do next background, whatever one you prefer. But if you want to be a specific one, you have to do this one. And you can just change it to like basketball court here, sounds good. So you press when you receive one. Well, you first you gotta do this, then it broadcasts. You gotta do one click and broadcast one. So when I click this, it changes because that broadcast went, then they received it, and it switched. Okay, I think that pretty much sums up everything that has to do with change of backgrounds and scratch. Hope this helps. Bye.